Hello everyone, it's Koneko here, and today's video is going to be a tattoo update video. So basically, I'm going to go through all of my tattoos in this video, starting with the new ones and go into detail on the new ones, but I won't go into detail on the older ones since I have an old video um, explaining why I got those ones. So first up, I'm just going to quickly point out the new tattoos. So I have this one is new, this one is new, this one, this one, and then the crescent moon. So this one is Three Little Stars and it is for my love for Harry Potter. I looked at my Harry Potter books that I have and it doesn't have these three stars at the corner but it was all over online and I loved little tiny details. I thought it would be super cute kind of on the shoulder as like a corner. <laughs> um, obsessed with Harry Potter. It has like such a deep meaning for me and Harry Potter is something that I grew up on and I definitely want more Harry Potter related tattoos but this is one of them and super simple. I prefer simple tattoos. The next new tattoo is the one right under here. So it is three dust sprite that are featured in a couple of different Studio Ghibli movies. Uh, they're prominent in Spirited Away, carrying around little stars. Um, I think it would be cute maybe to get a tattoo of like a little star or two that's like the cartoonish ones, but they'd probably look better with color and I just stick with like black and white, mainly black for tattoos. But yeah, I love Studio Ghibli movies, however you say his last name, I've heard it, uh, Ghibli or Ghibli. Howl's Moving Castle is actually my favorite, but I really love dust sprites and I like how it's their simple design. It's mainly just black, so it kind of fits with my tattoo style that I go for. Um, and I really, like the placement of the three kind of going under my boob. <laughs> the next new tattoo is this arrow on the side here. It's actually a little bit bigger than I was thinking, but is exactly where I wanted it and pointing up. And I really love like bow and arrow, like elf type characters with bow and arrow. Um, just like that sort of connection with like nature and like archery and all that stuff. I've never tried it archery before and I'm very weak so I probably fail miserably at it. But just like even like um, Merida from Brave and that whole like kind of renaissance -y era if that is even like the proper era that I'm thinking of. Um, but. I've also thought about getting like a sword tattoo, so like swords and bows and arrows and I'm not a fan of guns, <laughs> like let's just use bows and arrows, like bow and arrows again and swords, um, you know, some whip out a katana. Um, but <laughs> another kind of main point that I got for the arrow is like the whole motion of pulling like the arrow back and letting it go. So life might there's like a there's a quote um i'm probably not gonna say it right but um when life draws you back or pulls you down it's just shooting you forward into the next thing so it's kind of corny and cheesy but that's why i love and got this one and i wanted to make sure it was pointing up um and i do like how it is just like on the side there it does kind of like move and bend uh with my body but like th that could go probably into deeper meanings of how life <laughs> is um but yeah so that's why i got that one 
The next tattoo is another Studio Ghibli tattoo. It's on my ankle. It is of Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. I absolutely love cats, so this is no surprise that I got a cat. Um, Kiki's Delivery Service is a very wholesome Studio Ghibli movie, and I just love so much about that, like with witches and cats and all that goodness. And um, I have a black cat named Loki too, so it was kind of funny when I first got it done. Um, he was like smelling around like my ankle because like there was like the bandage and like blood on it. <laughs> and I took a picture and it was just like they were twinning. <laughs> so um, Studio Ghibli, Kiki's Delivery Service, and the fact that I have a cat and I'm obsessed with cats. The fact that I have a black cat and that I'm obsessed with cats is kind of like why I got it. My final new tattoo that I'm going to show you is on the back of my neck underneath one of my older ones. It is a crescent moon that's shaped like like the Sailor Moon crescent moon, which is why I got it that way because I love Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon was like my childhood anime, one of my first animes. Um, I think I, I think it was my first anime. It's between that, Cardcaptor Sakura, and Pokemon. I watched them all around the same time and I'm not sure which one I saw first. But anyways, that's why I got that tattoo, just a simple outline tattoo representing my love for Sailor Moon and my love for astronomy which ties back to the moons here and how these are stars and all that good stuff. There's a few other tattoos I have planned so I'll talk about that next I think. <laughs> so going back to my old tattoos which you can again watch the old video to know their meaning but I have this rose tattoo here I have cat on the back of my neck. I have a lightning bolt behind one ear and a wing behind the other ear. Might be hard to see with the wigs, I'm not sure. I didn't really plan that out. I have this tattoo here. The phases of the moon. This one. So bows on the back of my thighs. I think I think that's all of them. Merlin, you gonna come join me? Always needs to be a cat in a video. Chop chop. <laughs> Hi Merlin. Hi baby. <laughs> so cute. Oh. <laughs> I'm scratching my leg. Oh well. So those are all of the tattoos that I have, um, the newer ones that I got, and then the ones from like several years ago. I do want to mention a couple more tattoo ideas that I have, things that I might want to get that I'm not sure if I'm going to get. Um, I think I did this at the end of my last video where I mentioned some other tattoos I wanted, which I'm actually curious, I should watch back and see how many of them I did get and which ones are still plans or if I just like changed my mind on some plans because I don't, I don't remember that video, it was a while ago. So a couple more tattoos that I would like to get. I would like to get um, a lotus flower um, or a cherry blossom. I, I have a rose and I really love roses. But I also love lotuses and cherry blossoms um, for a variety of re reasons which I would go probably into more detail if I did get those. But basically I, I like those flowers. And I was thinking of having it like over here on the side. Um, on like the back. So like not a tramp stamp in the middle but like just if it was a lotus flower, the bottom would be here and then the lotus would like go up. Um, small, not like super big. Um, or like a, a little, I don't know, branch or something with a couple sakura flowers. I'm not positive, that's why it's still like 
a possibility, like a plan in the works. <laughs> Um, but I have this weird thing with like kind of like symmetry tattoos or like There's one here and so then there's one down here um, And then there's one here and one here so I kind of want one there <laughs> I don't know and then I have the two bows in the back of my thighs so another Possible tattoo is having just outlines of simple hearts on the Front, but of course I would have to get both legs done because it would have to be symmetrical <laughs> um, So basically yeah, just hearts right here um, Not this big probably quite a bit smaller like I Don't know maybe up here too not so low so like only if I'm wearing small shorts would it show kind of thing just like the bows are up here so like maybe even lining it up just so it's all neat and organized <laughs> um i also thought about maybe adding some like one or two sakura flowers by um g by yeah gg <laughs> the cat I, I almost called her kiki so that was an option as well so i could still get the lotus and then get the sakura flowers by the cat um, I want to get my crescent moon touched up. Um, I like thin lines and I know that can like with the healing process and like on the back of the neck too and with shirts I think like it just yeah so I want to get that one touched up but I also have a tattoo design from when I was at the um, New Brunswick College of Craft and Design where I, I took it like a tattoo class and we did like henna and like tattoo designs and like learned about different tattoo stuff. Anyways, I was with a partner and we were designing tattoos for each other. I designed an owl for her and she designed like a Pocahontas type tattoo for me where it has like the compass sort of like tilted and then leaves like blowing up around it. And my only thing with that one is that most of my tattoos are small because I'm very bad with pain. <laughs> I know, I keep getting more though, but it's like once the pain's gone and I'm like, cause like during it, I'm like, I don't want any more tattoos. What am I doing? I'm like, this is a bad idea. And then afterwards I'm like, okay, so now I want this one and this one and this one. It's like an addiction, I swear. Um, but I think I would want it like on like my back to like the side I just don't know what side and I don't know if it's gonna mess with my like symmetry thing going on but it's also a bit more like a a bit larger and a bit more detailed too so it might be fine <laughs> um, if I can find the like drawing or like a picture of it that I've taken or something I'll insert it but I'm really not sure where it is right now um, or like maybe I'll post about it if I ever do find it um, on like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. All those are linked down below. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. I tend to ramble. I do love tattoos, the one like all the ones I have, and I'm planning some more. So let me know if you have any tattoos in the comment section below, or if you have any questions at all, just leave them down below. I hope that you liked this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.